Meanwhile, there was drama in Parliament as the minority walked out of the chamber when President Akufuado entered to present the State of a Nation address. This walkout attracted boos from the majority side. The minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, had minutes before leading his side to work out, joined the leadership of the House to welcome and usher in the president and his vice. As usual, the MPs sang along when the national anthem was being played, but the minority in the House would not resume their seats. They tucked their document and filed out of the chamber. The unamused majority side booed their colleagues from the opposite side and would not allow their seats to remain empty as they joined some ministers of state to fill them. Now joining me online is Matthew Nyendam. He is a Deputy Majority Chief Whip. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Your thoughts on what happened in Parliament yesterday. Do you think that the minority should take part in the debate? Well, I, I think morally they should not take part. But before I even come to that subject matter, let me congratulate the President for what he did yesterday and giving us the state of our country from the beginning to the end. But I think that what the minority did yesterday was, was shameful because you have no justifiable reason why you should do what you have done. And if you say that you are not going to sit, sit down to listen to the president and the whole international community, the whole world was watching us, why would be, what will inform you changing your decision that you want to debate the same thing that you are running away from? What, what, what will make you come back to say you want to debate it? And I believe that when it comes to principle, we must have principles. We should not just throw our, our dignity to, to, to the dogs because we are politicians. Because SONA is for all of us. So you say right. you would not take part in SONA, mm. but you want to come back and debate the same SONA. Why, 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 why would you want to do that? So you think and that I they think should that be denied the opportunity to debate on SONA because they were not, they didn't sit um, for the presentation? My sister, they never sat for the presentation. Which means that they didn't want to do, they didn't want to have anything to do with the president's state of the nation address. Mm. Why would you do a U turn today to come back and say that you must be allowed to debate that same sooner that you you decided not to take part? Right. Morally, morally, does it does it make sense to you? Well, you tell it me. Mm. Let, let's look at their action and. Um what it does to, you know, Ghana's democracy, do you think it's embarrassing? Or you think it's yes. normal parliamentary um, gimmick, maybe? You know, when we come to democracy and parliament, workhouse are part of registry of your protests, which you must have a justifiable reason why you should do that. But what they did yesterday was unwarranted, unprovoked. And having all the former presidents sitting down, Jerry John Rawlings was seated, John Kufo was seated, just because former President John Ramani Mahaman did not take part in the SUNA, NBC decided not to take part. What, what, what kind of disgrace is that? Well, right. at least we must think of Ghana first. When it comes to mother Ghana, we must all unite and let the international community know that, yes, we are a very serious country, we are united, and we want to develop mother Ghana. But yesterday, the NDC did not demonstrate that. And I think that it must all, we all must condemn it into two. Uh, do you think this was avoidable, um, bearing in mind that the leadership of the House has spoken about the issue um, when the minority gave hints before the day? Do you think what happened yesterday was avoidable? What, what is it, my, my sister? If you listen to them, their initial reason why they said they were not going to take part in the SUNA was payment of statutory funds. But those funds were paid before yesterday. So if you look at the reasons they gave, they got opportunity to demonstrate in Tamale. They went to Kumasi and demonstrated. They had opportunity to meet eminent persons in this country on the voters' register. If it's about media freedom, we all know that media freedom is guaranteed in Ghana. So nobody is sabotaging any media house in Ghana. But if you are a media house like TV3 and you decide not to renew your license for so many years, and NCA decide to close you down, that cannot be called media suppressing or somebody suppressing media freedom. That is not justifiable. And right. those reasons they are given are just blaming 
very, very uh, frivolous excuses they are given. And that cannot be countenanced. Now, before you go, you notice that the majority crossed over to the minority seat. Is that normal parliamentary practice? Is that legal? Oh, oh yes, there is, there, is, there is nothing illegality about it because if you come to chamber, we all can sit anywhere we choose to sit. But it is right that we say, oh, the minority is on the left side, the majority is on the right side. Right. But yesterday, they decided to leave. And the seat were vacant. So some members chose to also go and sit down there and listen to the president. After all, they have not taken the seat that this is my seat. No. But they were not seats, so they decided to occupy those places and listen to the president. That was what happened. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, that will be it for now. Matthew Nyendam is a deputy majority chief, chief whip.